share with you guys something that I made recently, last year, that is probably the best thing that I've ever made in terms of making me happy and making me enjoy myself this last summer especially. And it's this three level bird feeder here. <laughs> and it's kind of dirty. It's seen a lot of food and rain and wind and sleet and snow, it's about a year old. I also put this fountain bird bath on the side of my back balcony here. A little piece of wood that sticks out and then it's just the base of a planter to catch the water held in this wood frame. And I work a lot at home and I sit in this window here on my computer, I do a lot of video editing. And having this feeder hanging here and this bird bath, bird fountain, has brought me so much happiness and it's, I've enjoyed it so much. I highly, highly recommend it to anyone who spends a lot of time at home or if you have a business or a company and you just want to put some, a bird feeder in the backyard and, and have birds come. And it's so much fun to just watch them, you know. I'll come out in the morning, I'll change the water pretty much every day and I'll put a little bit of feed. In the summer I don't put too much feed, but I put, put a little bit of feed every day. I pull it in, put the feed out and I put it in, I'll have a cup of coffee and sometimes I'll just sit and have a cup of coffee and watch the birds and listen to them and they come and they eat and they play and they sing and they bicker. And sometimes when it's really a nice day and not only that, even when it's a cooler day, sometimes they'll all come and feed and then they'll come over here to the, the bath and they'll take cool sips and sometimes they'll have a pool party which is out of this world because they'll all sit around the edge and one will go in and they'll have a bath and the other guys they're, they're copycats especially the sparrows they'll watch what the other ones do and they'll get around and they'll, they'll one will jump in and then the other jump out and, and they'll switch off and sometimes there'll be three or four little guys in there and they're, they're doing the little thing there where they spray the water and they flap their wings and it's the cutest thing ever and then there's a bunch of birds feeding and there's birds in the trees and we get cardinals and chickadees and gross beaks and um, we have some crows, we have starlings, we have all kinds of birds that come, uh, goldfinches, house finches. Uh, we also have a lot of sunflowers here which we plant and the goldfinches love them. They'll come and hang upside down and eat and there'll be bees and little insects crawling around and going in and the bees will be feeding off the flowers. It's, it's heaven, it's, it's paradise here in the summer. You know, over the years we always had some feeders in the backyard and just basic things that I'd go and buy at the Home Depot or whatever. And uh, finally I was like, you know what, I want to build something special for the birds because I enjoy watching them. And so I went online and I found some photos of bird feeders and I found one that I really liked and I, start, I, I was like, I'm going to duplicate this one. So I started to work on it and I got the wood and, and I spent about two days building it and it turned out way bigger than I thought. Um, sort of on purpose, but I was a bit surprised by how big it, it just got bigger and bigger. And by the time it was done, it was this guy here and it was brand new. And I was really impressed with it. I made these windows out of glass so you can see the feed and it's got these three levels. And um, the inside here, it's empty so you can fill it up and the, the roof slides up so you can fill it up. And uh, it was heavy, especially when it's full. I would say it's close to 20 pounds. And so I was like, oh man, first of all, I was going to put it on a pole in the backyard, but we live on the second floor. So I was like, I got to suspend it. So I actually climbed the tree over there and I attached a cable and the cable runs over to the top here of this balcony. And it's a pretty decent gauge cable that can take, I don't know, probably a hundred pounds. But, uh, and then I got this feeder and I uh, put a wire, the carabiner obviously here. And then there's a wire that runs down through the feeder, and you can see through the window here, down to a hook at the bottom. And so the, feed, the wire runs through all the feed, and the roof has this hole in the top. I put a little piece of metal. These are, these are cedar shingles, so they're waterproof and they weather really well. The rest of it's pine. And this wire comes up, pretty good, decent gauge. So I can obviously open it to feed it. Often in the summer, I just sprinkle the seeds around the edges here. I don't even have to open it which is good because I pull it in, I don't have to take it off and stuff like that. I can just pop the lid off and it really makes it easy. But uh, it's pretty heavy, especially when full. So this wire has to be pretty solid and I attach this wire, which I use to pull it in. And then I have a telescopic sort of broom handle uh, out of aluminum, which I use to push it out, probably about 15 feet out. And it's perfect. It's about, you know, about one third of the way out towards the tree and far enough away from the house that the birds don't, you know, they're, they're not right up next to the house and all the seeds can fly into the backyard, whatever. But um, it's worked really well. I've been very happy with the design. I would highly recommend this design if you want to build one or if you find one like this, it's, it's a good design. 
for the fountain, I, this is basically just the bottom of a, you know, to go on the bottom of a pot for a plant. And uh, it's uh, ceramic. And uh, I made this wood frame here, which sticks out. It's just attached to the wall. I'll probably take it off in the winter, just with screws. And it's got a little edge on it. Uh, and it holds it on there really well. And I can just pop this out if I need to rinse it or clean it. Often I just uh, tip it up like this, rinse it, and then fill it up. Sometimes I'll water the plants here and let it drip down because the birds really like it when it drips. It kind of makes them kind of makes them go crazy for, for water. And see, I got buddies like this who come and visit me. And uh, this guy here, I swear, I know this guy. Well, look, he's not even afraid of me, you know? And they're really cute, these birds. I, I love them to death. You know what's really important is that if you start to feed birds, if you have feeders, is that you have to continue to do it. You know, you can't just stop all of a sudden. And for me in the summer, I don't feed the birds very much. I'll put a little, I'll sprinkle a little bit around the edges in the morning or in the evening, but the rest of the time I let them grow out and forage. And I mean, there's tons of food. I live in the city, there's scraps of food, there's garbage, there's other people that feed the birds. And so uh, I don't make them too dependent on, on the feeder. In the winter, however, I do continuously keep a supply of food in the feeder, usually sunflowers, seeds. So, because in the winter there's snow here, it's cold and the birds have a hard time finding food in the winter. So it's really important that. And if I go away for a week or a month or whatever, I make sure that there's someone here who keeps it filled up. It's very important. These birds have brought me so much satisfaction and happiness and joy and peacefulness. You know, I'll check the news sometimes, especially lately, and there's just bad news all the time. But I can sit here and watch the birds and I just smile and I'm so at peace. And it makes me so happy to be able to help these little creatures and I just think they're so beautiful and they're so wonderful and they sing so well and I, I mean they're it's just it's just a part of God's creation which is absolutely enjoyable and to have a sort of connection like that to them see there's a little guy right there and he's not even afraid of me obviously because I feed him but um, he's actually wondering where I'm, when I'm gonna feed him next so but uh, it's brought me so much happiness I highly recommend it but please if you do put a feeder out and you start to feed birds please keep it up you know, or taper it off very slowly. Don't just stop abruptly, so just be careful uh, with it. But otherwise, I highly recommend it. Uh, flowers, plants, a bird fountain is out of this world. When those guys start to have a pool party, <laughs> there's nothing better. And um, yeah, just sit back and enjoy, and don't forget there's a lot of beautiful things in life, and birds are one of them. There's a lot of other things, but birds are certainly beautiful creatures, and they are uh, wonderful to enjoy.